So at this point, it's 11 o'clock at night, almost 12, and I've blown my hair out the best that I can. Um, I'm gonna put this in a tight, 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 tight bottom because uh, I don't need it to do nothing other than um, stay straight as possible. So, um, my hair is just thin, y'all. I have thin hair because I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a bite or if it's a purple, but it's done two days before Woman Evolve. And I'm going to Woman Evolve. Let me people. 
people and the elders of the Israelites, the entire nation, it says that they worshiped, that they shouted, they did what we do. Yes. God says he's going to deliver us. Yes. We praise, we clap, we shout. We're so excited about what God is going to do. But, but, the Bible says that when Moses went to Pharaoh, mm -hmm. He said something very peculiar. He said, God says to let my people go yeah. so that they may hold a festival to me in the wilderness. That word translated festival there is the Hebrew word shagag. It means celebration. Ah. That word translated wilderness is the Hebrew word midbar and it means desert. So to put everything together, God told Pharaoh, let my people go so that they may celebrate me yes. in the desert. Yes. But here's the thing. I don't know of any deserts that are flowing with milk and honey. None. None. I don't know of any praise parties happening in desert places. But the Bible says that the Israelites were so excited about the promise that when Pharaoh let them go, it says that they marched out boldly. Boldly. They marched out with their head high, their back straight with a pep in their step. They marched out of that situation boldly. See, some of you may know what that's like when God releases you from that bad relationship. And you hit, you hit delete all of the things. You do all of the things. You march out boldly when God releases you from that bad job. You march out boldly. You type up a professional resignation letter. And you quit sin. And you walk out with your back straight. And your head held high. And a pep in your step. The Bible says that two verses after they marched out boldly, the Israelites looked up. And he saw Pharaoh coming toward them. And the same people who marched out so boldly, this is what they said. They turned to Moses and they said, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us out to the desert to die? What you have done to us is wrong. Didn't we say to you in Egypt to leave us alone and let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians that die mm. in the desert. My sisters, the Israelites have been in Egypt for 430 years. 330 of those years, they had served as slaves. Harsh labor, bitter conditions, but the moment that they found themselves in a desert on the other side, one place with one accord. Yeah. Anything can happen in here tonight. If you want to get some food, get a bunch of women who are serious. And anything can happen in here. Right. You can celebrate yourself, but wait a little bit to talk to you. Right. But wait a little bit for us to get excited for you. Be glad for yourself. This is the day that the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that we evolve. Shout yes, somebody. Yeah. You may be seated in his presence. I know you got on them cute shoes hurting your feet. <laughs> you been waiting for permission to sit down. They cute, but they hurt. You know, all sparkling up, looking fine. But before I teach it, what I love about this movement is that you don't just we don't just get good messages. We get God messages. We don't just get good communication. We get communication straight from the heart of God. And a couple of weeks ago, me and some of the team and Pastor Slayer and PT sat in a room. 
doesn't necessarily begin to pour our heart about what she feel like the Lord is saying, what she feel like the Lord is doing. The Lord gave us a song that I believe is not just going to be an anthem for this movement, but it's going to be a song of hope for your service for 
us to really go into the reality that God has not changed his form even when we change our form. We see him changing sometimes his expression, but he never changes his form. Sometimes I change the way I show up, but I'm not changing that I'm showing up. If you're in a season and you're wondering where God is, I hear God saying, you may be looking for the way that I showed up yesterday, but I brought you here so that you could open up your eyes to see how I could be showing up right now. I hear God saying that somebody's already gotten a revelation that they can worship in a way that they never thought even possible. They thought the breakthrough was coming on Saturday, but I hear God saying, no, I'm getting ready to give you breakthrough on a Thursday night. You can be a fool if you want to and wait until the conference is over, but if you get a revelation that I haven't changed my form, then I can help you get back in form. There are some women in this room, and I hear God saying that you are not in the form that God has left you in, but you're moving into a season where the only way that you can get anything done is if you get back to the form. Who am I in that form? And that form I believe I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And that form I believe no weapon formed against me will prosper. That weapon formed, but it didn't change my form because I understand that no weapon formed against me will prosper. In that form, I prophesy. In that form, I rebuke the devil. In that form, I believe that though he slay me, yet shall I trust in him. In that form, I believe that I can decree a thing in the earth and it will be established. In that form, I believe I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In that form, I believe I am a part of a royal priesthood. In that form, you better not mess with my child. In that form, you better get up off my baby. In that form, I don't care how many women are in the room. I understand that God's glory can fall no matter where I am sitting. Somebody came to want me to evolve to get back in form. There's a form that you've been flirting with, but I hear God saying, by the time this is over, you want to step all the way into that form. I hear God saying, you've been playing with it, but I'm getting ready to push you into it. Because you got a form you got to take. Because if you don't take it, the world doesn't change. If you don't take it, the kingdom is not established. If you don't take it, then we can't rebuke a devil. If we don't take it, then we can't get rid of a generational curse. If you don't take it generational, I gotta put pressure on you. And I know you're tired, and I know you're stressed, but maybe you're tired because you're out of form. I hear God saying, if you had the right form, this thing wouldn't break you. If you had the right form, this thing wouldn't shake you. So now tomorrow I'm gonna be stuck trying to figure out. I said I'm gonna dress down tomorrow with some jeans and a cute shirt because yeah, it's any kind of way in there really. Like some people dressed up, some people dressed down, some people wear dresses, some people wear tennis shoes, and some wear heels. Like it's just real different. But I'm gonna be dressing down tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday, and then cause I'm I'm probably gonna keep my work clothes on to be honest, but. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. And 
That's day one of Woman Evolve. want to be married but then so they're in this holding pattern because he's trying to get his life together but he wants her to wait until he gets his life together and so when you said what's wrong with you is she crazy I was wondering what's wrong with y'all out here in these single streets Hey y'all, I hope y'all like that vlog I did. I'm trying to do more vlogs. Um, I'm learning and to learn for me, I have to keep doing it. I have to keep trying, I have, I have to keep pushing. So I went to Woman Evolve as you can see. 
Thursday was amazing. Now, my Woman Evolve was probably different from a lot of people, mainly because number one, I didn't really know I was going to Woman Evolve until maybe like a week or two before time, or two weeks before time. Um, didn't know I was going to Woman Evolve. Didn't take off for work. I live 14 minutes away from Globe Life. So I was just able to go to like the nighttime stuff or stuff that I could do after work. So Thursday, I only went to the the nighttime or worship and I saw uh, Pastor Sarah Jake Roberts speak. Um, I saw, saw Nona Jones. I saw uh, Naomi Rain, Chandler Moore. Like, it was amazing, okay? That worship had me boohooing. I was just in bliss. The moment I just heard music, y'all, I, I was crying because I was where I was supposed to be. Now, I do wanna add this, y'all. The reason I did not know that I was going two weeks before time, because I bought this to get off someone. I had the money at one point, then I didn't have the money, and then I got a different priority when I could have get the money again, but I had, you know, picked up a different priority. And so I just couldn't check the feeling that I was supposed to go. Um, got a call from my older sister, one of our co-workers was selling the ticket, sent the ticket, she sent me my, she sent her the money, she sent my ticket, paid a hundred dollars to go to one of the golf. Blessed ain't the word, do you hear me? Blessed is not the word, because I think when I was looking at the tickets at one point, it was like 2.30 or 2.80, I can't remember. And then this is the early bird ticket too, that I got. So, um, listen, I went where I could so I could keep my job. And I'm blessed that I could be in there in those, those moments, those big moments. Now, Friday, I didn't do anything mainly because number one i was second guessing if i wanted to go because i didn't have the pajamas like i just felt like my pajamas were naughty okay secondly end up getting a blister from thursday walking in some bad shoes and i ended up getting a blister at the bottom of my foot and i popped it that night so i could be ready for today and so i was just like oh, i'm gonna just have to miss friday like ooh. but um still got up this morning which today is saturday and i saw the men's panel i took notes on that and i also uh saw pastor Torre close it out um but yes so i really want to let people know that think maybe god isn't listening to you maybe you have prayed so long maybe you fasted before and you still don't see anything you have to change a lot about yourself you have to align yourself with what god wants you have to think am i being the best daughter am i being the best son i can be to god because if you're not then once you even put an effort for it god start flowing you start flowing he start working for you he start moving things in your favor but if you're not changing, you're still being nasty, you're still being gossiping, you're still playing with women's hearts, you're still playing with men, you're still entertaining all these people. You're not serious about the life here on earth. So I feel like you're showing that you're not going to be, you're not serious about your life beyond your eternal life. And that is just what it is. So I want to thank y'all for watching the vlog. Oh, I, I hope y'all like it. I hope I did good. <laughs> All right. So until next time, this is Sign with Love, baby.